Hi there, it's Dave Clark, race director for the Whistler Half Marathon. Here to give you a quick orientation of the Half Marathon course up here in Whistler, British Columbia. We look forward to seeing you here in June. So we're looking at the big map here, uh, one up behind me, but uh, we'll use the one that's on the screen here so I can walk you through it a little bit. All of our events start and finish at Whistler Olympic Plaza, right in the heart of the village. For the Half Marathon course, we are going to be following the blue line. That's the one we're doing in this video. There will be a video for each of the different distances uh, that you'll be able to refer to as well. But we leave Whistler Olympic Plaza, go out onto Blackcomb Way, and take a left onto Lorimer Road. We follow Lorimer Road for almost two kilometers, the first, or first kilometer or so being pretty flat, and then we start our descent down into a lower section of the valley all along Lorimer Road, past our elementary school, and we're going to take a left onto Crabapple Drive. Once on Crabapple Drive, we're down into the flats here for a brief period of time, past the 2K mark, and we're going to make a left onto Blueberry Drive. Just after that 2K mark is when we hit the longest hill of the course. Blueberry Hill. It's approximately a kilometer long, rises at about a 5 to 6 or 6.5% 6 grade most of the way. It is a nice steady climb though. It's no like short punchy bits and then level and then short punchy bits again. It's nice and steady all the way up here to past the three kilometer mark. Once you're past the three kilometer mark, the views really open up here across the valley to Blackcomb and Whistler Mountains up above Whistler Village. Make sure you take that all in. Uh, when we get to the top, we get to go down. So all the way down Blueberry Hill, the other side, we make our way down towards Highway 99. And just before we get to Highway 99, we're going to be taking a 180 degree turn onto the Valley Trail. It follows along the golf course past our 4K marker here. And uh, we do have a slight rise back up uh, below the Blueberry Hill Crest um, to the top uh, here, about 4.5K, and then back down here. And once we get to 5 kilometers, we're into the Valley Bottom Flats uh, for quite a long time, actually, through until we're past the 10K mark. So you've got a nice long section that's nice and flat. Past our first aid station here, still on the Valley Trail, still nice and flat. And uh, we cross over Crabapple Drive here, and we're going to carry on past the 6K mark at the bottom of Lorimer Road, and then we're into our out and back section out here towards Rainbow Park, past the 7 kilometer mark, and we make our 180 degree turn here at Rainbow Park. Make sure at this point you look back across the valley because the views are stunning. Blackcomb Mountain, Whistler Mountain, Wedge Mountain up here in the north, uh, it is absolutely breathtaking. Uh, so we look forward to uh, sharing those nice views with you come June. On your way back here, we call this section, because it's two-way traffic, our high-five zone. So get your hands up there, give a high-five to the runners coming the other direction. Friends, neighbors, strangers, we don't care, just get out there and have fun uh, and share the love. Uh, so past the 8K mark, we're coming back out at the bottom of Lorimer Road here, still on the Valley Trail, as we enter Tapley's Farm, which is a residential area of Whistler, one of the original ones. Uh, and you're going to be on Balsam Road here past the 9 kilometer mark. We're going to take a right onto Easy Street. Yes, there is actually a place you can live on Easy Street here in Whistler, which is pretty fun. We're going to come up, take a left turn back onto Balsam and past the 10K mark. At 10K, it starts to rise all the way up here, Balsam. It's nothing crazy, no big, huge hill, just a nice steady rise to about the 10.5K mark. Uh, that were the halfway mark uh, of the half marathon, in fact, uh, before we transition back onto the Valley Trail. On the Valley Trail here, you're all along the beautiful Whistler Golf Course. It's absolutely stunning. If you golf and you have an extra day to take in a golf, uh, make sure you take in one of our beautiful golf courses. Past the 11K mark, and we're continuing to rise back up towards the village elevation here. We're going to pop underneath Highway 99, uh, and we're going to pop right into the village here. Uh, we'll be right beside the Whistler Conference Centre, and you get to run right through the centre part of the village. Great, great, great cheering areas. I really encourage you to get your families out here cheering you on. You're over the halfway mark here now, um, but it's a really fun experience, especially if you have somebody out cheering you on. It's lots of, lots of uh, great fun. We exit the village over Blackcomb Way, and we make our way over towards the Whistler Skate Park and Jump Park, all along the Valley Trail here, past the 13K mark before we pass Passive House and enter uh, the park, Lost Lake Park. This is where we transition from pavement to this point onto gravel. This is a one lane wide gravel road, so lots of space, it's not technical, and it uh, will take us all the way through Lost Lake Park here. 
this is a nice gentle rise for about a kilometer and a bit up towards the lake and our next aid station. At that point, uh, it levels out. So from the aid station, or just before the aid station back here, it's pretty level all the way along the side of the lake here. You've got little undulations up and down, up and down past 15K, all the way up here towards 16K. Again, it's nice and undulating. It's a really beautiful running experience through the forest along these trails here. When we make this hard left here, just after 16K, we start our descent down to uh, the north end of the course. Uh, again, still on this one lane wide pay, or gravel road. And uh, we're going to make our way down past 17 here and make our way down to the flats by Nicholas North Golf Course. Just, you've got another aid station here at about 17.5K. Just before we get to 18K, you uh, switch back to the paved gravel trail, or paved valley trail, I should say. Paved gravel. Uh, paved valley trail. And uh, you're going to go past 18K through the Riverside Resort campground area, carry along the valley trail here as we enter into the Bruce, Spruce Grove Park area. Just before we get to uh, the 19K, you are nicely right along the river here, and uh, it's beautifully shaded all along this paved area here. Just at this little jaw sittle here, you switch back to gravel. And this, I tell you, it all along here is like a natural air conditioning. It's so nice, that cool air coming off of the river. You're in the forest, it's a nice winding trail. It's absolutely stunning. One of the highlights of the course to finish you off. After 20K here, you're gonna pop back out onto the Paved Valley Trail near where we entered Lost Lake. You're gonna come underneath Lorimer Road and you're gonna end up on the Valley Trail right next to Lorimer Road and make our way back into Whistler Olympic Plaza, which is the finish line for all of our events. And we'll be waiting there for you with your finisher's medal and all sorts of tasty after run food and some live entertainment and all sorts of other great stuff. So we look forward to seeing you in June and I hope this orientation has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching.